measurement chapter number 1 problem number 3 to problem number 5 solution this is problem number 3 the length of a pendulum is 100 plus minus 0.1 cm if the acceleration of the free fall is 9.8 plus minus 0.1 meter per second square meter per second square calculate the percentage uncertainty in time period of the pendulum the time period of the pendulum we know is equal to t is equal to 2 pi under root l divided by g where this l is the length of the pendulum and this g is the gravitational acceleration now the given data is length of the pendulum l is given as 100 cm and the uncertainty in the length which is denoted by del l is equal to 0.1 cm similarly the acceleration or gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second square and the uncertainty in gravity which is denoted by del g is equal to 0.1 meter per second square now the question is calculate the percentage uncertainty in time period of the pendulum so we will calculate the percentage uncertainty in the time period t of this pendulum now here in this problem the solution is del x divided by del y whole ke power n is equal to n into x plus y this n represent the power factor which is 1 over 2 this x represent the uncertainty in length del l and this y represent the uncertainty in gravity this is the denominator term will be equal to the power factor n into uncertainty in x and uncertainty in y keep in mind we are dealing with the percentage uncertainty this is the uncertainty from this uncertainty we will determine the percentage uncertainty and this formula is valid for the percentage uncertainty now for calculating the percentage is uncertainty in time period first we will determine the percentage uncertainty in length and the percentage uncertainty in acceleration then we will add up these percentage uncertainty in length with the percentage uncertainty in acceleration and multiply with the power now the del l divided by l multiply by 100% del l is the uncertainty l is the measured value multiply by 100% will give us the percentage uncertainty in length now del l is 0.1 cm the measured value is 100 cm so divide 0.1 by 100 multiply by 100% we will get 0.1% for the percentage uncertainty in acceleration del g divided by g multiply by 100% now del g is the uncertainty in gravity g is the gravity multiply by 100% is equal to 0.1 is del g 0.1 meter per second square and the major value is g 9.8 meter per second now multiply this with 100% which will be equal to 1.02% this is the percentage uncertainty in length and this is the percentage uncertainty in acceleration now for calculating the percentage uncertainty in the time period the percentage uncertainty in time period will be equal to power multiply by percentage uncertainty in length multiply by plus this is plus not multiply plus percentage uncertainty in acceleration the percentage uncertainty in time period del t is equal to 1 over 2 multiply by 1 over 2 is the power this under root is equal to 1 over 2 multiply by 0.1 this is the percentage uncertainty in length plus the percentage uncertainty in acceleration so 1 over 2 multiply into 0.1 plus 1.02 percent is equal to 0.56 percent rounding of this number we will get 0.6% so the percentage uncertainty in the time period of the pendulum will be equal to 0.6% now this is problem number 
The problem of a poor state that the theory suggests that drag force depends upon the viscosity of the medium, average radius of the object, and velocity of the object moving within the fluid. Derive a formula for drag force of fluid by using dimensional analysis. Hint viscosity is equal to m l power minus one t power minus one. These are the dimension of viscosity. So using the dimensional analysis, we will derive the drag force formula. The given data is viscosity denoted by eta, radius denoted by r, velocity denoted by v, and the drag force F D is equal to unknown. Now from the given data, it is given as F is directly proportional to viscosity. F depends upon the viscosity. F also depend on the velocity and F also it is given that F depends upon the radius. Now combining these three equations we will get F is equal to K into eta power A V power A R power A. Here this K is constant we will determine the values for A, for B and for C using dimensional analysis. Now we know the dimension of force are equal to kilogram meter per second square. This is the unit of force. From this unit we can derive the dimension as kilogram which is mass m power 1, meter which is length l power 1 and second power minus 2 so time period uh, time t power minus 2. These are the dimensions of force. We will compare these dimensions of force with the dimension of these quantities and derive the values for A, B and C. Now the dimension of force m l t power minus 2 is equal to k here the dimension of eta the dimension of viscosity which are given as m l power minus 1 t power minus 1. So these are the dimension of eta or viscosity where v, v is velocity and we know the dimension of velocity are l length divided by time. So length l power 1 and t power minus 1 whole key power b. Now putting the dimension in this equation for radius. Radius is simply length and the dimension of radius are l power 1 whole power c. Now we will solve this equation to determine the values of a b and c now multiplying this power with this term similarly this power with this term and this c with this term and rearranging now first multiply we can write this as k into m power a this one multiply with a m power a similarly l power minus 1 into a so l power minus a similarly the time is t power Similarly for time, t power minus 1 multiplied by a is equal to t power minus a. Now the second term, l power b and t power minus b. When this minus 1 multiply with b, we will get t power minus b. And this 1 multiply c, we will get l power c. Now rearranging this, uh, Rearranging this equation, we can write it as k into m power a. First term, the second l power minus a plus l power b plus l power c. And for time t, t power minus a minus t power b. Now comparing the powers of this term of this equation from the left hand side with the powers of the dimension of force. We will get a is equal to 1 as m power a is equal to m power 1. So a is equal to 1. For length we will get minus a plus b plus c is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to minus a plus b plus c. And for time t minus 2 is equal to minus a minus b. Now let's solve these three equations for the values of a, b and c. The value of a is a is equal to 1 from this equation. So putting the value of a is equal to 1 in this third equation we will get 
we will get minus 2 is equal to minus a minus b so minus 2 is equal to minus 1 minus b this one is the value of a minus transferring this minus 1 to this left side of the equation we can write it as minus 2 plus 1 and minus 2 plus 1 is equal to minus 1 so b is equal to this is minus b so minus b is equal to minus 1 this minus and this minus will cancel with each other and we will get b is equal to 1 now we know the value of a is equal to 1 and the value of b is equal to 1 putting the value of a and b in this second equation which is 1 is equal to minus a plus b plus c so 1 is equal to minus a a is equal to 1 so this will become minus 1 plus b b is equal to 1 so this will become plus 1 plus c this minus 1 and this plus 1 will cancel with each other and we will get the value of c c is equal to 1 now putting the values of a b and c in this first equation we will get f is equal to k eta v r and this is the equation of drag force which we have derived using the dimensional analysis and this k is constant which is equal to 6 pi problem number 5 suppose that the displacement of an object is related to time according to the expression x is equal to b t square this x is displacement b is constant and t is or time what are the dimension of b we will determine the dimension of b the part b of the problem is a displacement is related to a time as x is equal to a sine 2 pi f t where a and f are constant find the dimension of a so we will determine the dimension of a for a in the part b and the dimension of b in the part a of the problem the given data is x is equal to b t square where x is displacement and b is a constant dimension of br unknown let's solve the first one first we x is equal to bt square the dimension of x we know x is dest, uh, distance or length and the dimension of length r l is equal to b and the dimension of t the time is uh, capital t and this is square so we will take this as capital t square now let's solve this for b b is equal to l divided by t square dividing both sides by t square so this t square will cancel and we will get b is equal to l by t square transferring this from the denominator to nominator we can write it as b is equal to l t power minus 2 and this l t power minus 2 is the dimension of b now the part b of the problem is displacement x is equal to a sine 2 pi f t in this equation x is displacement a is constant f is also a constant we will solve this for the dimension of a okay let's solve so x is equal to a sine 2 pi f t x is displacement and we know the displacement the dimension of displacement or distance or length are l so l is equal to a sine 2 pi f t now keep in mind that this term 2 pi f t is actually theta and we know that theta is dimensional less or theta have no dimension so we do not need to consider this term we will take a is equal to l the dimension of um, a will be equal to l or len and there's the answer thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions